Yeah, hi there guys. Yeah, I'm sitting here today um, working on a few things uh, in my painting studio uh, here. Uh, you can see behind me a piece I painted uh, quite a few years ago now. And uh, just over the years I've put it back up and um, done some done some work on it, um, added some um, some color to it, added some definition, um, changed some of the features of it. Um, just, you know, looking at it and seeing uh, how can I make it better. Uh, yeah, so this is a room that um, uh, most, I do a little bit of uh, reading and uh, writing in here too, uh, but mostly yeah, it's for painting, uh, painting studio. So uh, it's not the best place to do a video uh, because I think the, the audio may sound a little strange perhaps and the lighting um, could be difficult for the camera um, to uh, perhaps, we'll see. Uh, but it's, it's a great room for painting. The light is great for painting. Um, but not so much for uh, making a video. Uh, so we'll see. Um, yeah, I've been painting, um, you know, all my adult life, um, seriously. Um, of course, as a kid, everyone um, does some kind of painting or uh, artwork or, or whatever, but seriously, uh, painting um, most of my adult uh, life. Uh, and mostly in oil uh, painting. Um, I've tried other mediums um, and I like those too, but uh, I just like the way um, you can manipulate the oils and um, mix the oils and come back later and um, you know, you can still work into it. Um, so, and the texture of oils, of course, um, you can't beat that. So, uh, anyways, I didn't want to talk to you about that today. I wanted to talk to you about this tobacco I'm smoking. It's, um, it's an interesting tobacco, I think. Um, yeah, a lot of people would call this, um, a high-end, um, type tobacco. It is an aromatic, um, but it's, um, you know, it's known as a, a high-end uh, aromatic tobacco. It's uh, by McBaron. It's the the Halberg uh, green label tobacco and they also make a, a yellow and a red label uh, I believe too and they're different tobaccos um, than this. So let me show you. It comes um, in kind of an outer container Oh, like this. Uh, let you look at that and see if you can read that. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's a Halberg green label. It's written green label right on the front. Uh, perfectionism is our birthright. So there's a lot of, a lot of big claims on this tobacco. Let me read what it says on the back um, of this box um, to you. It says, no effort has been spared when the tobacco grades were selected uh, from tobacco fields of three continents. The absolute best bright Virginia and ripe burly leaves were harvested. A part of the tobacco blend is pressed into cakes, hereafter cut into small pieces and hand blended uh, with the exclusive ribbon cut and cross cut Virginias. That says, the nose is greeted by a scent of gentle berries mixed with a hint of exotic fruits. When smoked, the perfect balance between natural tobaccos, subtle flavor notes and cross cut Virginia flakes create a slow burn in your pipe and an exquisite aromatic smoking pleasure. So, so that's the outer box of the presentation. Inside that, 
course, there's another box like this. Basically, it says the same thing on the front here, but it opens like this. And then inside here, there's a tobacco pouch. So, yeah. So look at this presentation. It's, you know, this is a really nice, sturdy container. And it has a, a little magnetic thing here to keep it closed. So you can use this for, uh, you know, once you get the tobacco out and you, you want to jar this up, I think, because uh, it won't stay uh, fresh in that pouch very long. Uh, so you can use this you know, to put, you know, set it on your desk or whatever, put lighters, tampers, uh, perhaps um, short pipe uh, cleaners in there. But anyways, so that presentation's nice so far. And then it comes in this silver pouch. And like I said, you, you want to you want to get it out of this pouch. You don't want to keep it in here too long. But so when you open it and you smell it, you really get hit um, with the berries and the fruit all mixed together. I really I really get the the aroma of like a sour apple. And some berry, like blackberry, um, uh, something like that. Yeah, so it's a really sweet, fruity uh, flavor. Not like the the dried fruit that you get with a lot of natural tobaccos and even Virginias. Um, but you can you can smell the I can smell the the natural tobaccos in here as well. But um, they're attached to the the sweet fruity and and berry aromas that come out at you uh, first. So it's a really pleasant um, bag aroma. So let me try to, to show you this tobacco because it's it is a nice looking tobacco. But let me see if I can show it to you. See if that will focus. Yeah, so there are some some light and dark pieces, um, some rough cut, some cross cut, um, some flake parts, and some some pieces from from cake. They said they pressed them into a cake and cut them. So yeah, all different kinds of uh, cuts on this on. The Virginias and the Burleys that are in here. So when you when you smoke it, let me light up again. When you smoke it, you really get. The sweetness of the, the fruits, the exotic fruits, doesn't, doesn't say exactly what fruit, but you really get the, the fruit and the berry uh, flavors out of this. And uh, they're really in the forefront until you get about halfway down the bowl, and that's about where I am now. And then you can... Uh, pick up the natural flavors of the, the, the Burleys and uh, the Virginias. And the sweetness is still there, but you but it settles down a little bit and you and it it kind of mixes with the, the natural flavors of the tobacco. And I think that's where you can say that the quality of this uh, of this tobacco that they use uh, really holds up uh, because the heat and the casing don't overtake the 
the natural sweetness and the natural flavors of the tobacco um, that are in this blend and they come out um, I think about halfway down to the bowl mm. and that's where you can pick up a, a bit of the nuttiness of, of the burley and the sweet uh, sweetness of the Virginia not not really the classic hay uh, flavor but uh, a real good sweetness uh, of the tobacco and you can still pick up the the flavorings that they put in there of the berries and and the fruit so I think it's a good one I think it's a very interesting tobacco I think it does hold up to, to uh, you know to what they say about it and uh, they also put inside the box here it's a little um, information it's actually kind of a story about um, what they what they say went into uh, making a tobacco like this so the, the the kind of the tradition that uh, McBaron has um, and I won't I won't read all of it you you guys can read this uh, if you get it but in the back um, it just says uh, just a quick thing about the tobacco um, it says exceptional tobacco 125 years in the making it says you hold in your hands the realization of the Halberg line and the booklet goes through four generations of the Halberg line uh, and they kind of tie it all together at, uh, at the end here. Uh, ambition to set new standards for luxury pipe tobacco. In 2012, our family business celebrates its 125th anniversary. To mark the occasion, we are proud to offer pipe smokers all over the world a unique smoking experience that is pure perfection. So, whether it's pure perfection or not, uh, You'll have to decide that for yourself, but I think it is a good tobacco. I think it's an interesting tobacco if you like the aromatics. Um, but also, uh, I think because the naturals do come out, um, even those that don't normally smoke an aromatic tobacco uh, would like this as well. Um, but it is a heavy, heavy aromatic. Um, I would call it a heavy aromatic, but... Um, so yeah, if that sounds like something that um, would fit your taste, uh, I think this is this is a, a blend worth trying. Uh, I think they did uh, a good job. Perfection, yeah, I don't know about that, but um, a good blend uh, nevertheless, and an interesting one. So, um, so you guys can give it a shot if you like. So that's it guys, I uh, hope you all, all are doing well, um, hope you're enjoying a good pipe, good smoke, um, and hope the weather is not too difficult where you are, um, hope you're able to uh, get out and enjoy the day, um, enjoy your time, uh, either by yourself, with your family, wherever you are. So you guys take care. We'll talk to you again.